Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to very quickly show a little hack for managing like kick samples, clap samples, hat samples, all your one shot samples. And well, actually about a month ago or two months ago, I can't remember, one of my subscribers left a message or posted a message saying that you can use Drum Machine Designer to manage your one shots or something to that effect. I don't even recall where the message was or what video it was on. But that's what I've been doing today. And I actually figured out, you know, did some reading and looked at a couple other videos that didn't show me exactly what I wanted to do. And I kind of figured it out on my own. So I'm going to import some kicks. I'm going to make a kick bank. So I'm going to go into my, I kind of sorted some kicks earlier. And I've made a couple of uh, kick libraries already. And I have this progressive trance kick collection that I've kind of sorted through from the Leviathan 2 sample library. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick bank for you, show you how to do it and some of the benefits of doing it this way. All right, so what you do is you just select all the samples. And then as you have probably seen before, all of you logic users out there, you just drag all the samples over here and then it's going to ask you what do you want to do. So you hover over drum design, drum machine designer, and there it goes. It created a bank of kicks. And now I'm going to play that bank of kicks. And then even goes on for second page here. So there's 20 because there's 16. All right. And so what that does, so you find the kick you like, just playing around. Okay, so it's over here on this pad. So you highlight that pad. And what that does is you now have all these controls. So if you need to fine tune that kick a little bit or not, then you have all your envelope modulators down here if you want to shorten it or lengthen it. And it's already pre-adjusted to where it hits your channel right in the sweet spot, which is really nice because I had used for years, Ultrabeat, and that would require importing each sample individually by itself, and then you would have to adjust that fiddly little envelope and the volume control to get everything just right. But this is just amazingly good. I'm really happy about this, and of course, you have you can modulate other types of sounds. There's even an LFO in here if you wanted to go that route. And so what you do, let me close this down, once you have, you've dragged in your kicks, then what I like to do just to, is to go like that, and you're not, so you're not highlighting any one pad, then you open your library, and then as you can see here, I've already made a couple banks. I've got some Matzo kicks, I've got some Proggy kicks, and if I wanted to switch them right now, all I would have to do is go click, boom, and it, it changed between, but I want to save this bank, so I'm going to click Save. It will assign the path for you, and I'm just going to put on here Progressive Trance Kicks and save it. And it should pop up right there. There it is. All right, now let me go to the Matt Zo bank. So here's the Progressive Trance. Now let me click Matt Zo here. Now I'm switched to Matt Zo kicks. There's a lot more of those. So it goes to, I think, actually, I think that's a little bit more. It goes two pages. And then what it does and how it allows you to adjust each individual one shot independently is that it makes all of these little channels here. Okay. So that's important if you want to, for example, have like a open and closed hat pattern or some kind of percussion loop that you make, and then but you want to make it out of an existing bank. So you have all these that you can go in here, and then obviously each one you select. 
and he even gives you a couple sins down here. It creates a space designer and a stereo delay. And you can keep that or don't keep that if you don't want to, but modern computers are so powerful, it's not going to matter if you keep that around. And then once you close this, it's not going to pop up every time on your mixer, okay? And so that's basically what I've got for you. It's really a great thing, and I really appreciate whoever it was that got me thinking about, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to investigate drum designer and drum machine designer, and it works really good. So now I got three kick banks, so when I want to start a new track, I don't have to screw around diving into sample libraries like I have done in the past, you know, which is really kind of a pain, you know. So now I'm I'm just flying, right? That's all I got. Thank you very much for watching and take care.